could be said that Huntington Beach's beloved surfing icon, Rick Fignetti, known better as Rocking Fig, talks the talk and walks the walk when it comes to surfing. Fig is a three-time amateur national surfing champion. He's announced the U.S. Open for 19 years, is a surfing journalist, is in both the Surfing Walk of Fame and the Surfing Hall of Fame, and has more surfing contest victories as a surf shop owner than anyone else. Fig has been surfing in Huntington Beach for over 40 years and can normally be seen surfing the north side of the Huntington Beach Pier. With a gregarious personality and distinctive voice, Fig talks about the Rock and Fig Surf Shop on Main Street in Huntington Beach, which has been at that location for over 22 years. Rock and Fig Surf Shop surfs up. We're out in the water surfing right now. But if you want to leave a message, leave one at the tone. Well, back in the old days, I was just a Grom. Yep, the fixer was just a Grom, graduated from high school and uh, was hanging around a surf shop, and uh, the guy gave me a break. He goes, Fig, you think you can, you know, try to sell any surfboards? And back then, I wasn't even the Fig. I was just the Rick, you know. And, uh, yeah, I just hustled around, and actually one day, I think I sold, like, uh, 18 boards. I was taking people's watches for deposits and all sorts of stuff like that. So all of a sudden, they're like, whoa, this guy can sell stuff. And then I kind of worked my way up the street, and then all of a sudden, Chuck Dent came down and recruited me. He said, Fig, I'm opening up the Bronze Aussie surfboard uh, store. And he goes, I want you to work in that. So I was like, whoa, Chuck Dent was pretty heavy, kind of legendary back then for the old guys. And so I took the opportunity to do that and uh, moved up the street and worked in the Bronze Aussie shop. In fact, I even got to be one of the junior Bronze Aussies under PT, former world champ, and uh, Ian Carnes was there, Jim Banks, Shane Haran. They had quite the team, but I was just on the amateur team, but worked in the store, and they had some killer shapes and stuff, and kind of did that for a while. And then as I was working there, kind of started getting to my own thing, where I started designing a lot of the boards and started doodling up, uh, you know, a few uh, logos and stuff, and then all of a sudden, uh, boom! Decided, okay, it's time to start doing a few rock and fig boards. And uh, it was kind of back when I was doing the K-Rock radio stuff. So I was kind of uh, on the air. Things were getting kind of popular right there. Doing the surf report every morning on 106.7 K-Rock. And also doing uh, a lot of the announcing on the uh, U.S. surfing tour, the Bud Surf Tour. So I was kind of getting the word out. And, you know, it, it just seemed like uh, it was only natural after working in the shop and uh, helping all these other guys design their boards that I kind of started designing my own. And uh, I was kind of fooling around with a little bit of shaping myself. And uh, the brand was started. And bingo, it just seemed to explode. So, you know, doing a few boards turned into more and more and more and kind of hung out at Chuck Dent's for a while. And then uh, all of a sudden, I believe it was probably the early 90s that uh, finally had to make a move. And bingo, that's when I moved up to the third block right here, 316 Main Street, and uh, kind of did it in my own shop and uh, has kept it going for like 22 years. So it's been a long ride and a fun one. Doing a lot of boards and uh, meeting a lot of people and definitely getting stoked out, you know, doing it. 13 inductees, rock and fig. Fig is one of the very few surfers who is in both the Surfing Walk of Fame and the Surfing Hall of Fame in Huntington Beach. Fig was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2013, along with other surfing icons, Skip Fry and Shane Dorian. Well, 
you know, I got inducted into the Walk of Fame, but the Hall of Fame on the other side of the street, which is kind of like the Grauman's Chinese Theater, which you put your hands and feet, you know, in cement right in front of Huntington Surf and Sport. And, uh, you know, I was always the one that helped out, you know, kind of doing the inductions of that over the last couple of years. So just that honor of helping with the induction was kind of cool. But uh, one afternoon I got... I got an envelope from Aaron's son, and I was just, uh, oh, what's this? I figured it was just like, you know, the invitation to help out. And then I opened it up, and I went, oh, my gosh. It looks like I'm getting inducted. And I couldn't believe it, you know, hands and feet and cement. So, you know, being on one side, over to the other side, and it just, you know, was the coolest thing, getting inducted with Shane Dorian and, uh, you know, Skip Fry, one of the killer shapers from, uh, you know, down in the San Diego area. I mean, it was just an insane ceremony, you know, they, they do a great job, everybody's, you know, wearing lays, the Duke of Hanamoko's right there, and, uh, you know, just all the other people inducted right there was just another, you know, heartfelt thing, and, you know, it's just, uh, really feels weird, because I, I tell you the truth, I just feel like a normal, everyday person, you know, I don't think there's anything special about me, and uh, that just goes to show you that, uh, I guess if you try, you know, hard enough that, uh, you know, sometimes dreams come true. And, um, you know, hey, I did a lot of things in my life, you know, and I did it just for the love of the sport. He has racked up 15 number one overall West Coast titles in the NSSA and the WSA, three NSSA national titles, three runner-ups in the U.S. champs. His career, he has served over 400 finals. And from what I understand, the judges have underscored him on every wave. <laughs> of breakthroughs he got into it just about the day KROQ came down it was poor man he came to Huntington Beach to do a poor man learns to surf with David Nueva and our inductee well Nueva said right David I don't want to get up that early and do that every day <laughs> guess what he said this man right here heck man I'll do it sure enough he did it the famous morning surf show turned into a hugely popular segment of the sport for Huntington Beach for KROQ and all of Southern California that epic morning surf report went on for 26 years, thanks to our inductee. In 1980, our inductee thought, you know what, there's so many great surfers in Huntington Beach, very few are getting any press. He was offered to write a surf column for the local paper, and our inductee said, heck man, I'll do it. For 21 years, Fig praised everybody in Huntington. Thank you very much for your writing, Fig. His big break came in 1988 when PT called him up and said, hey, they need an announcer for that Bud Surf Tour. And he said, heck man, I'll do it. <laughs> Ironically, his first professional surfing gig was working in the chlorinated tubes of the once was Wild Rivers Wave Park in Irvine, California. He went on eventually to announce the U.S. Pro Surf Tour for 15 years. He is Huntington Beach's most famous surfboard salesman, and by all accounts, he has personally sold more boards on Main Street than anyone else, maybe anywhere in California or the world. Today, his surf headquarters is located a few blocks up Main Street, and it's one of the last hardcore shops in California into its 22nd year in business. His surf knowledge, iconic voice, and charisma has entertained hundreds of thousands of people from Big Tony's kneeboard event to the NSSA to everything in between, including 19 years as lead beach announcer at the U.S. Open of Surfing. In his competitive heats, when the green disc goes to yellow, you could hear him say, Five minutes, five minutes remaining. Five minutes, and that was actually his saying, five minutes, five minutes remaining. His nickname, well, one morning, after a great surf, it was a winter morning, he went into work, the Chuck Dan Surf Shop. Our inductee went over to the stereo, cranked up the music, climbed on top of the counter, and started dancing. Chuck Dan looked up and said to his young salesman, you are the rockin' fig. Yeah. He's a competitor, a salesman, an announcer, a commentator, a collector, a broadcaster, a journalist, a radio personality, a family man, a colleague, and a good friend. He is an ambassador for both the sport of surfing and for Huntington Beach. Dude, all he wants is some tasty waves. Please welcome to the Surfers Hall of Fame, Ricardo and.
Andrew Tignetti, the Rockin' Pig. But the people of Huntington Beach are even better. I love you all. Thought that you know I'd probably get my, my feet in cement one of these days, but I thought it was gonna be like my feet in a bucket and pushed off the end of the pier, really. Okay, Rich, the fixture. Surfers Hall of Fame. Rockin' Rick Rockin' Fig Fignetti. Inducted 2013 for his outstanding achievement and contribution to the sport of surfing. Wow. Fig was a member of the Orange Coast College surfing team that won the NSSA National Surfing Championship in 1979 and 80, and since then he has accumulated 16 amateur regional surfing titles, three national titles, and has the longest winning streak by any surfer of 25 contest wins in a row, making him the winningest surf shop owner ever. Yeah, you know, Fig just hasn't lost his stoke for competing, you know, he's out here every contest doesn't matter the conditions, um, you know, from small to big, challenging, perfect. He just loves putting that contest jersey on and, and uh, you know, ch I think he likes to challenge himself and, uh, you know, and he loves to win. There's no question about that. And he surfs in, even in double divisions. He surfs in a division with younger guys and I think you know, that's because of what I said, he likes to challenge himself. And, uh, you know, it's it's pretty awesome just watching him, you know, come out here and put that contest jersey on month after month. And, and uh, you know, just always amped about, you know, coming to surfing contests. I know, they really got some good ways, because you without me. You're always a threat every time. I never take you for granted, you know? That's why that one wave, I had a little inside position. I know, I know, I know, I know, I can't give nothing away, man. This is national championships, I gotta go. I know, I would have done the same. Guaranteed. It was always fun serving you, Pig. Well, you know, anytime you're competing against PT, former world champion, I mean, I've seen the guy, I've had sessions out with him at Sunset, Hawaii, going big, you know. He's a tough competitor, that's all I gotta say. He gets the right wave, he'll take you out. And, uh, you know, conditions like this at Salt Creek today, one to three, hardly any sets, it's anybody's ball game. I'm riding my thinner board. It could be a mistake out there, just trying to be a little quicker if I do get a, a little section to hit, but uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Got my fingers crossed, yeah. <laughs> Rock and Fig is a ferocious competitor. There's never any quit in him, and uh, in our division, he's unbeaten. He's yet to lose a hit since he started in the uh, Duke division. I caved in to the master over here. Okay. <laughs> I had to dig my way back the pressure, out. The pressure, the pressure. <laughs> Yeah, you can feel it out there. It's like, Fig's in the hot. He's in the hot. 23 consecutive wins. That's like... Something's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so I come out here, I start surfing some contests. The first contest I show up is down in uh, San Onofre, and I paddle out, and within just seconds of the horn, 
this guy just basically paddles right past me, jumps up on the wave and takes off. I was like, what the heck was that? So then I'm sitting there and I'm waiting for another wave to start to paddle and all of a sudden this guy goes right by me again, takes off in this wave and I'm like, wait a second, who is this guy? And basically, you know, we surfed in the heat. I was a little rattled. And then I just came in and said, who the heck is that guy over there? And they said, well, that's Rick Fignetti. You know, he's been surfing contests for a long time. He owns a surf shop in Huntington Beach. And I was like, well, man, that guy's like completely aggro. Is he always like this? And they go, yeah, he's just a real fierce competitor. So I competed in a couple of contests then and realized I just didn't have enough to compete against uh, Fig at that point. So I stopped competing for a number of years. And then about 12 years later, I decided I was going to get back into it and uh, came out. Again, it was a few years later. And sure enough, who's in the, in the organization with me? Rick Fignetti. Like, oh, here we go again. So the first contest didn't go well, but ever since then, I've just been following what Fig does and upping my game, watching him surf, and he is the fiercest competitor I've ever competed against. I mean, he just, every contest is on his game. And uh, he's, without a doubt, the toughest and most committed competitor I've ever surfed against. And he's just a great guy and a great competitor.